Hello dancers, my name is Veronica coming to you from Image Boldham Dance Academy in Dallas, Texas. I have another suggestion for you today for your jive practice. I'm going to discuss the kick ball change, also known as the flick ball change. Let's go! Welcome back dancers. So today we're going to discuss the jive kick ball change, also known as the flick ball change. So let's go ahead and learn the pattern first, okay? I would like you to start on your left, but we will also be able to do it on the right side. So I'd like you to place all of your weight to your left. You're going to pick up slightly your right foot. You're going to kick the right foot in front, slightly in front of the body, then you want to shift all of your weight to the side onto the ball of the right foot and then you're going to replace the weight back down to your left. So we're going to do it on repetition. So you're going to lift the right foot slightly, kick in front, you're going to come back and drop your weight to the ball of your right foot and then drop onto the left flat foot. Let's go ahead and take a look on the right side. You're going to pick up now slightly your left foot. Kick in front of the body, small kick. You're going to come back and drop the weight on the ball of the foot and then replace your weight back to your right leg. Again, you're going to lift the left foot, kick in front, drop your weight onto the ball of the foot and then come back down to your right leg. Let's take a side view. So we're going to start with your left foot first. You go on your left foot, excuse me. You're going to take the right foot, pick it up. You're going to kick in front of the body. You're going to come back and drop your weight onto the ball of the foot and then replace the weight to your left again. So repeat, you're going to pick up the right, kick first, drop your weight to the right ball of the foot and then flat left leg. Now we're going to repeat the same thing on the right. You're going to take the left foot up now, you're going to kick in front of the body, bring it back in, drop the weight onto the ball of the foot and then replace back to the flat right leg. Again, you're going to pick up the left, kick in front, drop the weight onto the ball of the foot and then replace the weight back to your right leg. So this is, is your kick ball change. Well done! So you just learned the kick ball change pattern. It's a difficult one, isn't it? So now how do we count it? What is the timing of this thing? So we're going to use the basic chive timing. It's one, a, uh, two for all of your kick ball change. So let's start again on your left foot first. You're going to pick up the right and kick in front one. The side ball step is going to be on a, uh, and then replace back on two. So again, one, a, uh, two. One, a, uh, two. You can do the same thing on the right side. Now you're going to pick up the left foot first. And one, a, uh, two. One, a, uh, two. And let's take a look at the side view. Start on your left leg first. You're going to go one, a, uh, two. One, a, two. Same thing on the right side. You're going to start. And one, a, two. One, a, two. So that's your timing for the kickball change and jive. Now, let's talk about some basic mechanics and technique for your jive flick ball change. I'm going to do a basic version and then I would like to give some tips to the advanced dancers for a more detailed execution. And I would like to do a side view this time so you can see what I'm talking about. So the left knee, when we start on it, make sure that it's flexible, okay? And also make sure you are in your jive posture. So what that means is that you open the pelvis, it has a slightly tilted back direction like you're about to sit in the chair. Shoulder blades are down and cascading down your back. So I'd like you to practice this action first. You're going to hug the knee into your chest. That's what is going to occur on the count up. So let's go ahead and take a look. You're going to kick the right foot in front of the body, really close to your left leg. 
From here, you're going to go up, two, and replace the weight back down on a flexed knee with a flat foot. And I hope you noticed my up, how the knee came up really high to my chest. You're going to do it again. And one, up, two, and lowering back to a flat, flat foot. You're going to do the same thing on your right. Practice both sides evenly. You're going to start in a flexed right knee. You're going to go kicking the foot in front, slightly in front. Then you're going to drop the weight onto the ball of the foot. And the right knee came up at the same time. And then you lower back down onto your right leg. Again, one, a, two. All right. And the back view, you're going to start on your left first. One, a, two, and then on your right, one, a, two, lowering back down. Now, just a little bit of detailed execution for the advanced dancers. I would like to implement the slip action, okay, also before you even take off for the kick. So you're going to go, a, one, a, two, a, one, a, Two. So notice how my left leg slipped first before I even made the kick. Same thing on your right. Make sure you slip first before you even go. A one, a two, a one, a two. And the back view. And a one, a two, a one, a two. And on your right. A one, a two, a one, a two. So, please practice this numerous times. You're going to have a great workout from the Jive Kickball Change. Thank you all so much for joining.